<laughs> hey, this is Dancing Rabbit on a windy, brisk spring day here in Houston. I hope that you're able to hear me and it's not too, uh, you know, there's not too much wind noise. This week's question has to do with spirituality versus religion. What's the difference? Uh, is it too commercialized or what? Spirituality and religion are both just words, and they both have a broad enough uh, collection of meanings that they can almost mean whatever you want them to mean. I suspect that most of the people who would say, I'm not religious, I'm spiritual, what they mean is, I'm not part of some organized or named religion but there are personal spiritual practices that I find meaningful and that I do on a regular basis. So religion is more organized. It's a maybe a broader term. A religion will probably have a mythology. Uh, will probably have a, a collection of rituals, practices. A uh, religion will probably have an ethic and may have some sort of an organization, you know, it may be a very loose organization, but a religion is usually something that you can identify with that, you know, it has a name and more than just one person is a part of it. You know, not to say that a solitary couldn't be part of a religion, that you could practice original, a religion alone, but the thing is, there are other people that are out there pra also practicing it alone, more or less. Whereas I think of spirituality as more a, uh, a spiritual practice or two that somebody is going to do and enjoy. They may possibly do it with some other people, but it's not going to be terribly organized. Now, is it too commercialized? Well, I think that you can over-commercialize anything. And I think in the past that probably religions have been over-commercialized. That uh, you go to church and there's a big emphasis on putting money in the plate, in pledging or tithing. And that a lot of money is spent on buildings and salaries and stuff, decorations. Um, you know, to the point that it, it turns some people off, they feel that the money really should be spent helping people or doing something, you know, doing something useful rather than just decorating a building that's used once a week. Spirituality, too, I suppose, could be um, over-commercialized. I've spent some time, I wouldn't describe myself as New Age, I would describe myself as an eclectic Hagen, who mainly borrows from Wicca, um, mainly is connected to some of the Celtic stuff, though I'm not a Reconstructionist. I'm a pagan, okay? But I have spent some time with some New Age people going to New Age type meetings, and I do find that some of that is rather commercialized, and some of it may be a little overpriced. Um, not that you can't do New Age stuff and not be commercialized. There's all kind of possibilities. But yeah, I think that, um, you know, somebody who sets them up as the great uh, guru or expert on some particular spiritual practice, a meditation or, or whatever type of meditation, and goes out and markets it and charges a lot of money for it, yeah, it's over-commercialized. So what do you do about it? Well, maybe you don't spend your money uh, at the overpriced spiritual or religious stuff store. You do a lot of it yourself. But, uh, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with um, charging for a spiritual or a religious product that's been made or for spiritual or religious services, but the product and the services should be of good quality and the price should be fair, whatever that is. And I guess that you have to just let your conscience be your guide. 
Okay, it's getting a little chillier out here, so I think I'm going to stop this uh, direct upload webcam thing. Next week is Subs Week, and the week after that, we're regular hosts. We're back, and hopefully by then, I'll have my desktop uh, computer you know, working well enough that I can go back to using my uh, camera and doing a little bit more editing, making it a little fancier. So, till next time, wish all of you a really happy and beautiful spring. Bye-bye.